Last night I was on call. I went to the ER to see a patient and I was shocked. The hallways were packed, patients everywhere, people coughing, exhausted, clearly very sick. And a big reason for that is how bad this flu season has been. A few years ago, I personally had an H3 flu strain. Every bone hurt, every muscle ached, my lungs burned. It felt like my entire body was under attack. Once you have had the H3 flu, you never forget it. And that's why I want to talk about this flu season 2025 to 2026 because it's still hitting very hard. As of January 2026, the U.S. has already seen over 15 million flu illnesses, around 180,000 hospitalizations and more than 7,000 deaths, and we are not done yet. This season is being driven mainly by influenza A, H3N2, including newer subclade K variant, which spreads efficiently in a bad way and is known to cause more severe illness, especially in older people and young children. So what should you watch for? Flu hits fast, sudden fever, chills, severe body aches, headache, extreme fatigue, dry cough and sore throat. And here are the danger signs you should never ignore. Shortness of breath, chest pain, confusion, bluish lips, severe dehydration or fever that improves then suddenly gets worse again. Now the question everyone asks me, is it too late to get the flu shot? The answer is no. As long as flu is circulating and it is right now, vaccination still reduce hospitalization, complications, and death. Protection builds in about two weeks. Also remember, antiviral medications are there and they work best when started early. If you think you have the flu, don't wait it out. Call your doctor. Protect yourself, protect your family, and don't underestimate this flu season. Follow for science-based health updates and comment flu if you want my simple first 24 hours checklist. Thank you.